Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. I got so many requests from you guys to make something fairy tale related. And for those of you who don't know, Fairy Tale is an animation series I've been watching online on Hulu. And there is this cake in the series and I just had to make it. One of the characters from the series, Urza, is obsessed with these cakes. One time in an episode, she ordered 50 of these cakes. 49 were for her and one was for the new guild member. So. She kind of loves these, I just had to. So today, we are gonna be making the Strawberry Fantasia Cake. Let's get started. To make our strawberry cake, we are gonna be making a white cake. You can also make an angel food cake if you'd like, but I love this white cake recipe. This is the official Nerdy Nummies white cake recipe. And the things you will need will be two cups of flour, one and a half cups of sugar, five eggs, we're gonna be using the egg whites, quarter cup of shortening, three quarters cup milk, one stick of butter, quarter teaspoon of almond extract, a pinch of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You're also gonna need two eight inch round pans. Now let's put it all together. The first thing that we're gonna do is whisk together in a mixing bowl our flour, baking powder, and a pinch of salt. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cream together our bugger. Bugger? Oh my gosh, don't cream together bugs. Cream together our butter and sugar, but first we are gonna cream together our butter and shortening just a little bit. Just mix it up just a little before we add the sugar. Now we're gonna add our sugar and we're gonna mix it together for about three to five minutes until it's light and fluffy. Ooh, look, our mixture is all light and fluffy and now we're gonna add our extracts. So you're gonna take your vanilla extract and your almond extract. And now you're gonna to mix together until everything's evenly combined and then we'll add our eggs. For the eggs, now we're gonna separate the yolk and the egg white and we are gonna be using the egg whites. So I'm gonna keep the yolks over here. So you just take your egg, Ooh, let the egg white run out, hold on to that yolk. For the best results, you want to do a little mix after each egg white. So you'll add an egg, mix it up. Add an egg, mix it up. Our creamy mixture is all done and now we are gonna add our dry mixture alternating with our milk. And we're gonna pour a little bit of dry, mix it up, little bit of milk, mix it up. Little bit of dry, mix it up, little bit of milk and mix it up until everything is all combined. We've got our batter ready and now we've gotta prep our pans before we bake. Over here I've got a piece of parchment paper and you're gonna take a pencil and trace the bottom of your pan. Then take a pair of baking scissors and cut them both out and place them into the bottom of the pan. Both of our pans are lined and now we are gonna put a little bit of grease. If you don't have this specific one, because this one has grease and flour, when you do the spray, it makes it a little bit easier. You'll want to do a baking spray and then lightly flour, but this has both. Now take your batter and you're gonna evenly divide it into both pans and I use the eyeballing technique. I just kinda guess. Once you've got your batter in there, you're just gonna smooth it out. Now you're gonna pop these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes. Just keep your eye on them. Once your cakes have baked and they've had plenty of time to cool, we are going to level them. I've got a little cake leveler over here. You're just gonna start on one side and saw back and forth, back and forth, and push all the way back. And these are for snacks. Now it's time to decorate, this is my favorite part. The things you will need will be a square cake plate, some doilies, because in the anime and the bakery all the cakes are on these little doilies. You'll also need some melting chocolate, fresh strawberries, this is the Fairy Tale Guild logo. We will be cutting this out using an X-Acto knife, so just be careful when you're doing that, and we're gonna be using this to make the decoration in the middle of the cake. And then lastly, we've got some white buttercream frosting over here that I put into two plastic baggies for a little bit more control. The first thing that we're gonna do is cut out our logo. So I'm gonna take your X-Acto knife, and I've got this on top of a cutting board so I won't scratch my counter. And then you're just gonna take your time, be careful, don't get your fingers, and we're we're gonna cut it out. Now that we've got our stencil all cut out, 
we are gonna make a chocolate design. So you're gonna take a piece of wax paper, tape it down, and then you're gonna take your stencil, place it on top of the wax paper, and then over here I've melted the chocolate and we're just gonna scoop it right on top. I let my chocolate sit out for about 15 minutes and now you're just gonna slowly lift up your stencil. Oh, it's so cool! And now you can take a little toothpick and do a few little touch-ups, then pop it in the freezer for about 10 minutes to chill. And while that's chilling, we're gonna put our cake together. Over here, I've got the first layer of cake and we're gonna chop up some strawberries. So I have to cut off the ends and then cut them in slices. And you can do this to as many strawberries as you like. I love fresh fruit, especially with my cake, so I'm gonna be chopping up a bunch. Got our strawberries cut up and now we are gonna frost the cake. So I'm just gonna take my frosting bag, snip the tip, cover the whole top of the cake with frosting. And now, take a spatula and just smooth it out a little bit. Oh, I love this part. You're gonna take your strawberries that are cut flat and you're gonna put them all around. After you've got your strawberries on top, now I'm gonna add one thin layer of frosting before my second cake. Pick up our second cake. Ooh. Lace them on top. Our cake is now assembled and I'm gonna add some little decorations. The strawberries that we cut in half, I'm just gonna stick them into the frosting and go all the way around. I like to do this part after I place the second cake on top because after the second cake goes on top, it kinda weights down just a little bit. So we'll give you a good idea of how much room you have. Now I'm gonna frost the top of the cake. I've got my second bag with a number 32 tip at the end to give it a little bit of texture. And we're just gonna ice all the way around in a circle. To decorate the top of the cake, you're gonna take 11 strawberries because that's how many they use in the show. And then you're gonna place some strawberry facing up all the way around. Now we're gonna do a little dollop of frosting in between each strawberry. It's a pretty tight fit, so it's okay if it squishes together. Our last decoration step is to add our little chocolate logo on top of the cake. I just pulled this out of the freezer. You're just gonna be really careful. I've got a sharp cutting knife over here. Line it up with the edge of the counter and then peel it off. All right, then you pick it up and place it over here. Ta -da! Here is our fairy tale themed strawberry Fantasia cake. I think that Urza would be pretty proud. She'd probably try to eat this right now. Thank you guys so much for suggesting something fairy tale themed. This was really fun and easy to make, and I'll be taking pictures, posting lots of photos on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you guys make this cake, please take a picture and send it to me. I just love seeing your baking creations. It just kind of makes my day. And if you have any other ideas, any of the nitty nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. Better than baking. Mm. This is the new format, mm. guys.